Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. I've got some great news. I have finally decided to buy a new microwave. I went out, I say I went out, I went on Amazon and I bought myself a Victronix VYHM0800 microwave oven. Um, these are just the instructions obviously, you're not cooking much in here. But uh, yeah, it's an 800 watt, so it's better than my last one. It's black, so it looks really cool and it's got buttons and things, it's awesome. Um, I've been about six months now without a working microwave, so it's about time. So expect to see lots more microwave meals in the future. If you're wondering why I haven't really done much in the microwave realm very recently, that's why. And uh, what better way to christen my new snack tube baby by having ourselves a rip-off of an old classic. So today, I've got for you the Snacksters Big Stack, clearly meant to be a rip on the Big Mac, if you haven't figured that one out. Even the packaging looks like a McDonald's box, which is which is kind of cool. So, as you can see, it's a two-tiered burger, much like the, the Big Mac with a bit of bun in the middle. And um, this was a microwave thing, so I did it in the microwave. I have to be honest, these microwaves are supposed to be convenient, right? The, the reason you get a microwave is because you just chop something in and boom, hit the button, boom, you're done. These things are elaborate, like really elaborate. I mean, those are the instructions there, right? So, so what you have to do is you take the sachet of sauce out and you stick that in a cup of warm water. So you have to pour a cup of warm water and put the sauce in and then take the cheese and the burger and the buns away. So you put the burgers in the microwave for a minute and a half on top of each other. While you're doing that, you have to simultaneously go over to the microwave and toast your buns on defrost and then once that's done, you have to bring it all together on a different plate, stack it all up with the cheese just without the sauce, and then microwave it for another 30 seconds, and then you take it out and then you add the sauce on, um, which was difficult because the thing was really hot. So I managed to get some on the top, but trying to get it on the bottom, but was uh, a bit sore. My fingers are still a little bit, bit raw from that. Um, so yeah, complicated. It's a burger. I mean, if you do a, a Rustler's burger, they, they don't take nearly as much effort, even the double stacked ones. Uh, although Rustler's burgers, I did indicate in a previous video, they are always better if you actually toast the buns separately. They always come out way nicer because the buns just get soggy if you microwave them. So so this um, shouldn't be soggy, thankfully, if the buns are toasted. So I think despite the complicated nature of having to put this bloody thing together, it'll be better for it. So. That's good, we want we want nice things. So let's uh, read a bit about this then. So it does have a big long description. So it's a double sliced white bread bun containing two cooked seasoned beef and chicken burgers. Hmm. And a slice of processed cheese served with a sachet of burger sauce. Didn't realize it had chicken in it. I figured it was just a beef burger. Can't tell that it's chicken. Hmm. Uh, so beef and chicken burgers, so it's a mixture of both. It's weird. Uh, so what are our ingredients then? Uh, sesame seeded bun, wheat flour, wa water, sugar, yeast, sesame seeds, vegetable oils, salt, emulsifiers, preservatives, flour treatment agent, what are you numbers there? Uh, so fairly typical stuff. Um, cooked burgers, 50% beef. No, sorry, the, the, <laughs> the cooked burgers are 50% of the thing. So they're 49% beef, 37% chicken. Uh, and then you've got beef flat, beef flat, beef fat, <laughs> wheat flour, Seasoning, which is dextrose, wheat protein, salt, wheat flour, contains a bunch of stuff. Soya protein, beef connective tissue, humectant, uh, salt, chicken fat, E326. And then the burger sauce is 7%, which is water, rapeseed oil, sugar, drained gherkins, Dijon mustard, uh, concentrated tomato puree, spirit vinegar, milk, proteins, pasteurized egg yolk, salt, corn flour, modified made starch, mustard flour, acidity regulator weed oil, a bunch of other preservatives. And then the processed cheese slice, which is 6%, which is made from cheese, water, whey powder, and butter, butter, emulsifying salts, natural cheese flavoring, and calcium phosphate. So it doesn't just taste like cheese, you've got to add natural cheese flavoring. Um, so lots of uh, processed stuff in this, so uh, probably not that great for you. Now let's uh, look at the calories and everything, because I, I didn't look at this before I, um, before I bought it. So typical values per big stack burger, 595, am I reading that right? 595 calories. Bloody hell, a Big Mac doesn't have that much in it. And that has salad and gherkins and all kinds of stuff. This is 
about the same size as a Big Mac, I would say, just without all the extra stuff. 595 calories, Jesus Christ, for one stupid wee burger. Anyway, uh, 33 grams of fat, 11 grams of saturates, that's more than half your saturates in this stupid wee thing. Jeez, oh, 44 grams of carbs, 8.2 grams of sugar, 2.8 grams of fiber, 28 grams of fat, uh, protein, and then 3.4 grams of salt. This better be good, because, Jesus, that is bad for you. 595 calories, jeez, oh. I don't normally eat that and have, and have lunch. But, uh, well, there it is. The big stack. See how it compares to the box? Doesn't look too bad. Um, the box, I think the saturation's been put up a wee bit to make it look a bit more colourful. They've obviously put some salad in there in the serving suggestion. I don't have any lettuce in the house just now, so I haven't done that. But, uh, yeah, it looks okay. The, bur the bun seems alright. It's, it's not gone soggy, which is good. So, it looks, it actually looks nice. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully it tastes nice. Right, well, let's do it. This is the Snacksters Big Stack. Let's give it the old taste test. I've bought another one from this range as well, which I'll try for you guys soon. Need another bite. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible. Um, the bun's okay. The bun's fine. You know, with that toasted in the microwave, the buns actually came out okay. The um, cheese is typical kind of microwavable cheese, plast or plastic cheese, I call it. Um, you know, typical processed plastic cheese. The patties, I'm not sure what to make of them. I think they're a bit... Let me, let me bake off just a bit of the patty and try that. They taste okay. You can tell they're definitely not um, all beef. You can tell that it's not all beef because it's not very beefy. Um, bit more of a mushy te texture. I don't want to say mushy because it's, it's not, mushy sounds horrible, it's not that bad. Um, definitely the, the, the ground meat has been ground up a lot finer to create more of a, a, sl a slurry. I imagine they make this in a big slurry and then pipe them onto a, a hot plate via some kind of machine where they make them. So yeah, it's, it's a bit, um, a, a bit more of a processed texture to it, as you can imagine. The sauce is is all right. It tastes very similar to Mac sauce. A bit more vinegary than Mac sauce. A bit more mustardy than your normal Mac sauce, but uh, overall, all right. Quite close to a Thousand Island dressing. I would say put it all together and it's not bad. It's It's not terrible. It tastes okay, but definitely has that processed taste to it. the The patties aren't aren't good. They're um they're very cheap. You can tell how cheap they are. Can't remember how much. this was like a pound fifty, I think, which uh, seems like a a lot to be honest for something this cheaply made. But yeah, the 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 patties taste very cheap. They don't they don't taste like good quality ones. Definitely, um, definitely on the lower end of the burger spectrum. So yeah, I'd definitely rather have a Big Mac, but uh, it's okay for what it is. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't say it's uh, really worth the pound fifty you pay for it. You can get a Rustlers for that, but a Rustlers would be nicer. To be honest, I mean, there's the convenience of this because you can freeze it and it'll last in the freezer for for ages. I mean, the um, date on this is February twenty twenty two, so this has got like a year left on it. So you can freeze them. I mean, why you would? buy a microwavable burger and keep it in the freezer for a year, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I suppose that, that's the only benefit of it you can buy, you can buy tons of them and just keep, keep them stored away, but uh, if you're going to do that, just buy real burgers because they'd be nicer, 
So, yeah, it's okay. It's edible. But for the, the amount of um, calories you get in it and the price, it's not worth the money. Definitely, uh, you're better off with a, a Rustler's, one of their double quarter pounders or whatever. Um, or just go to McDonald's and get a Big Mac. That's alright. That's alright. Well, that'll do for today. I bought a bunch of microwave stuff while I was at Iceland today. So there's going to be a lot more things to come. But um, for the start of microwave items... I've had worse. I have had worse. Some of that stuff from the heat me, eat me range is awful. And uh, this is definitely better than that. It definitely goes above that on my on my tier list. So, yeah, okay. But uh, ultimately, still not worth the money. I would still stick with Rustlers. Well, that'll do for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe and the wee bell to get notifications anytime one of my videos comes out. Let me know if you've tried this in the comments. And uh, if you want me to try anything else, let me know. Well, that'll do for today. Thank you very much. And I will catch you in the next video. I'll see you then. Bye.